Dr. Arnold Baskies is the past chairman of the National Board of Directors of the American Cancer Society and recent appointee to the World Health Organization's Global Breast Cancer Initiative. Good morning, Dr. Baskies. Good morning. Good morning. Good to see you. Good to see you. Okay, let's dive right in here. Uh, children under five this week will finally start getting COVID vaccines. What would you say to parents who maybe aren't sure whether to get their children vaccinated? And would you re uh, recommend it, rather, for your own grandkids? Yeah, good question, Danny. So this age group has been among the last that it's been awaiting COVID-19 uh, vaccinations. We're talking now about the children in their six months to four years of age. Um, the, the good news, and to unpack the whole story, is that there are two vaccines that have now been approved for that age group. It's been test, they've been tested in 8,000 children to date with no evidence whatsoever of any heart inflammation, which was a concern of many parents. The Moderna shot is given and two shots, four weeks apart, and the Pfizer shot is actually a three-shot regimen with uh, two shots coming within three weeks of each other and then the, the third shot about eight weeks uh, later. The, the question you ask is a very sensitive one. Every parent is facing this question. Only 20% of parents have said uh, in this age group, for this age group, that they will have their kids get, get uh, vaccinated. The good news is that there's very few in the way of any side effects, and there's no heart inflammation that was shown to be present. Would I recommend it to my grandchildren? I, I would at this point. I think that the concern that was there before has been alleviated by the CDC and by the, the group that advises the CDC. So I think it's safe. It's been, it's been very well tested, and we have good data that shows that it is effective. The, the, the problem that we have is, is that this virus doesn't cause huge amounts of deaths in children, thank goodness, but it causes the, about the same amount of deaths as we see from the influenza and from rubella. So at the end of the day, I think it makes some sense to, to give strong consideration to getting vaccinated. Thank you, Doctor. Well, I have one more question for you on the larger COVID vaccine world that we're living in. Um, Moderna last week uh, gave a promising update about a redesigned version of its COVID-19 booster shot that appears to provide some stronger protection against Omicron. Uh, what more do we know about that, and when could that new booster be ready? Right. Moderna has made some really great advances in this area, as we all know, and thank goodness that they have, as well as Pfizer, of course. But the, the data from Moderna seems to show that there's superior neutralizing antibody response to their new version of this vaccine. It's a bivalent vaccine, meaning that it targets two different antigens as opposed to the previous vaccine, which was well, the one that's available now, that only targets one area of the virus. So that's good news. It'll be available probably by the end of the summer or the beginning of the fall. And the people may need only one annual COVID vaccine if, in fact, this, this, is, this data holds uh, steady. So we're looking at, hopefully, a Moderna vaccine that will be once a year, uh, just like we have with influenza vaccines. So that's really, really good news. But the most important part of this is, is that they have been able to re, uh, regenerate or create a new vaccine so quickly that is effective against Omicron. The question that remains is we cut, because Omicron uh, uh, mutates so quickly, the, the, these subvariants that have become more prominent in the United States, we just don't know whether they'll hit all of those, but it is certainly more effective against Omicron in general. So I'm hoping that this will hold steady, that in the fall we will have this new vaccine available and we can start to live our lives more normally again. Well, I have a feeling that uh, you and I, Dr. Baskis, will be talking again then to discuss some of these issues as we continue to follow them. Any Dr. Baskis, thank you so much for joining us and sharing your insights, and a happy Father's Day to you. Thanks, Danny.